there has been a new beginning in a particular area of your life since last december 2020 january february and now things are heading towards completion things are appearing bloated much more things are appearing way beyond what they should be <laughs> you are expecting some things certain uh, certain things in a certain way you want things to go your own way but as the famous proverb goes man proposes god disposes <laughs> and there has been quite some um, disruption in some particular area of your life two areas specifically okay and things are likely to go towards uh, the completion or ending okay? depending on your horoscope your mahadashas your antadashas your pratyantadashas so ladies and gentlemen what am i talking about today i am talking about the conjunction of uranus mars and rahu okay now you would be wondering youtube is flooded with videos like mars rahu conjunction okay how in the universe is this person talking of uranus why uranus and mars and rahu mars rahu are together in the sign of taurus now and they will be there uh till the end of this month and uh, yeah and some more time i guess in april uh, so you could expect till mid of april you will be seeing these results and effects and on 28th march there's exact the tight conjunction okay so you can expect till mid of april you will be seeing these results okay but end of march it will be at the peak okay so today is 27th feb and it's almost a month okay so why in the universe do i bring uranus here uranus is in the sign of aries it has nothing to do with uh, mars and rahu but it yet it has nothing to do with mars rahu now but it has done a lot of things last year december and this year jan all right so we shall discuss these planets today and uh, the conjunction in short all right and as usual if you are new to my channel then uh, please subscribe to it below you will see the subscribe button and uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding your career marriage or health or relationships you can go to my website you will find the link down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you and protect you during this conjunction all right so we know on one side mars and rahu they are um hovering around in the sign of taurus rahu has entered uh, rohini nakshatra and i also made a video last week uh, two weeks back um and we know mars has uh, entered taurus okay some time back recently so that conjunction is becoming more and more tighter and end of march is it will reach the peak but what does uranus represent uranus is in the previous sign of <coughs> aries Uh, but uranus he is the planet which shows you know new beginnings and disruptions okay uh disruption this is not necessarily externally but something inside of you there's disruption okay and don't forget that last year by end of last year mars and uranus they were nearing each other okay mars crossed uranus and mars has come back uh, to uh, come to taurus i mean okay uh therefore you would have experienced somewhere december january december 2020 january uh, this year 2021 around that time something to do with the houses that mars rules in your chart something must have definitely happened you know some new beginnings have might have happened you know, in mars is your 10th lord something to do with your career might have happened okay now again disclaimer whatever i am saying here may not apply to your horoscope 100% because that will depend on which dasha you are running okay so for example if you are running the dasha of the 8th or the 12th house okay or antar dasha mahadasha or both suppose 8th lord and the 12th lord dasha you are then it could happen that you could have lost your job or if you are running the dasha of a planet in you know the 2nd 6th 10th or 11th then it could have happened the and mars is your 10th lord uh then it could have happened that you uh, you know uh, got a new job you got a promotion okay or you shifted your domain totally okay something drastically different you have done okay 
that's what uranus represents okay so therefore uh, uranus is a very important planet when it comes to the you know, new beginnings like it's like kicking off the cy new cycle okay because now uh, planets like mars uh, within 2 years uh, he goes retrograde and then again he will meet uranus okay this this time around he just crossed uranus so <clears throat> therefore from the beginning of this year mars has crossed uranus and he has brought this energy within himself of new beginnings okay so therefore check depending on your ascendant not moon sign depending on your ascendant lagna rising sign which houses does mars rule in your chart mars rules aries and he rules scorpio okay in fact it's very interesting mars is the dispositor of uranus okay very interesting because uranus is in the sign of mars aries okay currently and i'm talking of uh, vedic astrology here okay now the thing is uranus has uh, mars has crossed uranus and now he has changed the sign also so the new beginning has started but now mars is in the sign of taurus okay what what is the sign of taurus the sign of taurus is everything to do with family food or you know anything to do with sustenance okay so mars in aries when mars was in aries with uranus it could show new beginnings ashwini nakshatra but now mars is in taurus when you make a new beginning what is the next stage you have to maintain that okay without maintenance there is no uh, pleasure or enjoyment in the long run okay therefore now the duty of mars is to maintain what he already started okay so therefore <clears throat> whatever you started during the uh, the beginning of this year related to the houses which mars rules this month month of march is a fantastic time to focus on maintaining it and bringing it to a point of stability okay try to be engaged with that engaged means see why do i say engaged because the sign taurus represents your senses okay so the sign taurus shows anything where you have to use your mind and senses okay so therefore you have to use you have to apply your mind your brain your senses your eyes your nose your tongue everything you have to apply which means you have to be whole heartedly present taurus is the sign where moon gets exalted it's the uchcha rashi of the moon okay so therefore do not forget that moon gets exalted in taurus and taurus is also ruled by venus and i had made a video like uh, two days back in that i said venus uh, i made a video on trick of venus and saturn so in that i said what is venus venus is the experience of this material world i am seeing this camera you are seeing me i am seeing this new uh, blue yeti microphone right so i am experiencing this i am experiencing everything okay and you are hearing me so your ears are experiencing something okay so now is the time that you have to experience that which you made when mars and uranus were conjunct and now we have the big boss here who is that he's rahu himself so mars is approaching rahu uh, in a forward motion and rahu is getting uh, retrograde and on 28 29th around they will be very tightly conjunct and by end of this month mars will cross rahu and go ahead what is this actually what does rahu represent rahu represents confusion and illusion okay so it could very well happen that the thing that you started very well now you are trying to maintain but you are having lots lots of uh, lots of confusion where should you do what when how should you do it for how long should you do it okay <clears throat> so therefore these confusions might rise within this month okay but remember always rahu is illusion he is a uh, cloud you know he is the smoke as they say and so don't worry if there is cloud if there is you know darkness if there is confusion okay uh, read the scriptures and try to understand how the great personalities they behaved um, in the past uh, in their lives you know like exemplary personalities you know great personalities especially the 12 mahajans who are mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam so if you learn about learn about their life their lifestyle their habits most importantly <clears throat> prithu maharaj dhruva maharaj 
all of their most amazing life stories if you read from shrimad bhagavatam second canto third canto fourth canto bhishma pitama if you read you know first canto uh, the prayers which bhishma pitama has offered and you have the right mentors in your life then you can very well easily navigate through this okay but uh if you are just confused and you are headless then this can be a very difficult time for you okay so now you may not uh have the knowledge of the scripture so now is a good time that you start to read because when rahu is in rohini and when mars and uh, rahu they will be conjunct in rohini <clears throat> then what will happen is you will try to uh, see rohini has this behavior sometimes it tries to show things more than what it is actually and added to to that it's rahu okay and added to that it's mars you know it's like fire and volcano coming together okay so therefore do not try to hyper extrapolate things and uh, stay away from uh, you know generalizing things or stay away from narrowing down things to such an extent that you forget the bird's eye view okay so don't go towards extremes don't generalize too much don't forget that everything else also matters okay so therefore uh by the end of uh, this month you will start getting this feeling that yes things are becoming much more uh, excessive than it should be or it then it should have been or then it needs to be okay but don't worry you can chant the mantra for lord nursing dev om namo bhagavate narasimhaya this is the mantra you can chant 108 times so this entire month of march you should chant this mantra and try to try to fast on these tuesdays okay <clears throat> so you should try to fast the remaining these you know four or five tuesdays that you will get during this month of march or at least uh, one tuesday you should fast or you know every alternate tuesday try your best to whatever extent you can okay and you can also fast on ekadashis okay and these are ways which you, you can uh, and on ekadashis you can do more sadhana and you can you know uh, read about uh, you can read from uh pralad maharaj uh, section you know the seventh canto of uh, shrimad bhagavatam you can read from that uh how lord narsingh dev appears and and then he rips off hiranyakashipu all right so you can read from these uh, amazing past times you will find it in the seventh canto of shrimad bhagavatam so just type shrimad bhagavatam seventh canto pralad maharaj you will find okay all right ladies and gentlemen uh, do not worry this is like just another time things will get a bit intense and when i say this i don't want to create fear but it's good to be aware if you know that things will be intense you can prepare accordingly okay not that you can change your destiny but you can you can uh, make up your own mind and intelligence okay because we can't change the externals externally things may get tough but we can change the way how we react to it how we respond okay so that will be all from my side and wish you all the best and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation the website is down below okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him